Hi guys, welcome to Next with Steph. I have an Easter haul here from the dollar store along with a few of my other favorite stores and some thrifted items. I'm going to be using these things to make a couple of Easter crafts and I'll be preparing some Easter gift packages. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to catch more of my upcoming videos, hit the subscribe button below. Let's get started. I just wanted to share with you this Easter haul that I have. I'm putting together some gifts and I'm going to package them up and I just wanted to show you what some of these things are and I got them from some of my favorite stores the dollar store, Walmart, Canadian Tire and even thrift stores. So the chocolates and the candies, uh, the ribbon, uh, some of the paper and even these natural wood plank pieces of wood which I'm going to turn into coasters. I got all of these at the dollar store. My ball mason jars, I usually get these at Canadian Tire. That's where I tend to find mine. These little teacups and saucers are really nice china cups. I bought these at the thrift store and they were really cheap at the, at the thrift store. Um, I think they were under $5. The tissue paper as well, dollar store. So I'm gonna put together uh, some of these things into cute little gift items and wrap them up and I'll be ready for Easter uh, nice and early all ready to go. So these little natural wood planks that I found at the dollar store I've decided that I'm going to turn them into coasters, pretty coasters, to place the teacups and saucers on. So this comes with four. I'm just going to do two of them for now. So I'm going to use tissue paper and I've already cut the two colors that I want to use into small pieces and I have some Mod Podge. I picked this up at Walmart but you could probably get this um, on Amazon or lots of other stores. There were also these little brushes, which I like because they have uh, really small sizes. So I'm just gonna get going and I'm gonna start applying my Mod Podge and layering on the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and let it overlap the edges and we'll take care of that afterwards once it's all dry. So I'm just going to set this aside and putting it on a top of a styrofoam cup here just to hold it up until it dries. I'll just leave these to dry for a few minutes and then I'll trim them. Okay, now I've let these uh, dry. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim off the excess paper and, and then I'm going to sand the edges with a little bit of sandpaper and just clean that up.
There we go. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the mess I've made here, and then I'm going to stencil on initial letters on these. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Next, I've gone ahead and laid on a vinyl sticker with the outline of the initials that I wanted to apply to these little coasters. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using just some uh, dollar store uh, crafters paint um, in a white. And I'm just using uh, the same foam brush that I was using for the first part of this project. Just they wash up really quite nicely, so I'm going to use it again. And I'm just going to dab this on. I don't want to brush it too hard or use long strokes because I don't want it to go underneath the stencil. So I'll just dab it on gently and then I'll remove the sticker uh, right away. For this next project, I'm going to take these ball mason jars and their lids. Then I'm going to use these little candy dispensers that I got at the dollar store, these cute little bunnies. I'm going to take the candy out of them. Then I'm going to glue these little guys to the lids. And I'm going to use this super glue that I, that I got at the dollar store as well to attach them. I'm hoping that this is going to work, so we're going to give it a try and see. I like that these come in these little uh, individual tubes. Um, it just uh, makes it much easier to use and less messy. You can just uh, dispose of them when you're done with the one tube. Once they're attached, I'm going to give them a good spray with this silver metallic Rust-Oleum paint and that'll give them a nice monotone all over color. Now I noticed that these come with these little caps in the bottom, but I think I'm going to keep those off and I'm just going to put glue around the edges and then stick them on like this. So I'm going to try and be careful and not overdo it, but I do want enough to really get it to stick well. I'm just going to let these sit and dry for a little while and then I'll come back and give them a spray paint. So I love how the paint turned out on these lids with the little bunnies. I think it looks great. And they look so cute with these little mini eggs in it. I'm just going to use some twine to tie on these little tags. to do here is I'm going to put together these little teacups into cute little uh, Easter gift packages. These are the coasters that I made and I included the initials of my two little nieces who are going to receive these lovely gifts. These little china teacups and some chocolates. So I'm just going to use some cellophane and start putting things together. Little bit of 
grass came with this. some of these little candies that we got from the little Easter bunnies that we did earlier.